Hello, in this video, I want to show you how to compare two sets of data to decide whether or not they are correlated. Now to do that, I'm looking at the same data set that I had before on LeBron James lifetime basketball stats. What I want to do is I want to visually compare two things to decide whether or not one affects the other. Now to do this, the first thing I need is a hypothesis. Now I propose that as LeBron James gets older, and I have this new column of his age, I believe that he gets more efficient at shooting his basketball. So to decide that, I'm gonna select some data. And for now, I'm going to limit my selection to the ages 19 through 29. And I'm going to select the corresponding shot percentage, the efficiency for those years. Now, once I have those selected, I can go to my insert column. And I have this section here called charts. And I want to select a scatter plot. I want a simple scatter plot with nothing fancy on it. No lines, no bubbles, just dots. It will populate a chart inside the sheet that I'm already working on. I want to move this to its own sheet so I can right click it and go down to move chart and tell it go into its new sheet and I'll just call this shot percent graph. And now it appears down here amongst my other sheets. This graph is relatively bare bones, so I want to add a few things to it. I have two new options up here, one for chart design that lets me change what my graph looks like and one for format that lets me add colors and texts. On my chart design, I want to add some chart elements. And I have lots of different things I can add here, but I'm going to add axis titles. I want a primary horizontal and a primary vertical. Once I have those, I can start to label my chart. This is shot percentage as a function of H. And then my two axes, Excel will natively interpret. When I select my data, it will say the leftmost axis is going to be the x, the leftmost data is my x-axis, the rightmost data is my y-axis. So age along the x, shot percent along the y. Now there is a way to change that, but I don't want to go into that just now. My x-axis is the, or sorry, my y-axis here is the shot percentage. And then my x-axis is age in years. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a trend line onto this data to see if there is a relationship. Once I select my data, I can right click it and go down to add trend line. Over here, I have options for what kind of a relationship I think this data might have. I'm going to select linear for now, and I want to put two pieces of information on my graph. I want to display, display the equation for this straight line, a y equals mx plus b, and I want to display an r squared value. Now you'll learn more about r squared values in a stats class, but essentially it says that if the r squared value is one, every single dot from my data set fits perfectly on that line. But as my R squared approaches zero, it says that my dots are purely chaotic and they seem to just be noise. There is no correlation. Now that I have this equation displayed, I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So I have it selected. Let's go back to the home tab and up the font so I can see it nice and clearly. There we go. Now what this is telling me is it says the Y, the shot percentage is equal to some slope times the age plus a number, plus the, the y-intercept. So if I plug in a random year, let's say I plug in 26. If I take 26 times this number and add 0 0.25, 0 0.20, what I would get is an output of about 51% shot efficiency. Now I wanna clean up my graph a little bit. It doesn't look quite right. It's got a lot of white space here. And you'll notice that the x-axis starts at zero. Now LeBron James might have been playing basketball at zero, but he wasn't playing professional. So let's change this axis. I can right click it and go down to format that axis. Over here, it gives me the bounds of my axis. It says it starts at zero years and it ends at 35. Let's start it at a more appropriate 18. And that stretches out my graph so that now my age starts when a person can reasonably start playing professionally. And there we go, I have everything I want. I have my correlation, I have my y equals mx plus b equation, my graph is clearly labeled, and it looks great. Hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you next time.